What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look. I'm just going to hide this actually one sec. Today we are taking a quick look at the Encore Stars or Encore Stars. Um, you've got a couple of nice players in here, including Foden, you've got Tamori, and you've got Connor Gallagher with a super sub. We've got a couple of more extra ones as well, which we'll get into in a sec. Um, but there's 22 players in this. I'm actually going to hide my webcam altogether. There's 22 players in this. You've got Bruno, Party, um, you've got Ben Yedder, you've got Musiala. This guy, Musiala, was a big popular one that people were looking for. He's an absolute demon of an attacking midfielder. Dumfries is quite good as well. I'm just going to go roughly through a couple of them um, and give you my thoughts on them. I've already covered these players. So these are basically players, there might be a slight alteration on one or two of them, but they are re-releases of the player of the weeks that released before throughout the 22-23 season. So... For example, Foden um, came before, Diaby came before, Saka came before. So if you've missed some of my other videos, this is just going to be going over a lot of that stuff. If you've already watched those videos, just have a look at this one. Uh, I'll keep it short and sweet because we've already covered a lot of these, right? So I would say that the first six, seven, eight players here, unless you are a newcomer and unless you are really desperate for a player to improve your squad, the two goalies are kind of a write-off in my opinion. They're not even worth Talking about too much, 87 reflexes, 78 reflexes, low punt, long throw, fine, that's not bad. Uh, low punt, penalty saver in standard form, not bad either. But yeah, they're not going to make a big difference here. You can just get better players for GP. So I would definitely not waste my spins on them. This guy, Hanko, Smalling and Torre. Again, you've got a nice bit of speed and acceleration here with, Balotor with uh, Balotore, with Torre, but that's all that you get with him. He's got very little player skills. He's uh, he doesn't have that good uh, defensive stats, and his player skills do let him down a good bit. Smalling was very popular at the start of the game. He does have interception and blocker, but trust me, lads, he's just not good enough as a centre back, especially because he's got build up. And then we've got Hanko here as well. This guy is quite slow for a left back. He's got good defensive stats. He's got really good player skills, including a wavering form there. Heading, way to pass, pinpoint crossing, early crosser, man marking, long throw area superiority, sliding tackle, and of course, acrobatic clearance as well. Um, but other than that, I don't really rate him too highly, especially when he's got a generic face. Then we've also got Fagner here as well. He's a very fast left back. He's kind of got good aggression and stuff. Um, but he's let down again by his player skills, even though he does have unwavering form on B. A lot of the Brazilian players are quite decent, lads, especially if they've got 85 in tackling aggression and acceleration and stamina. So he's definitely worth a look at if you do spin him in your pursuit of the better players. And then Klaus as well. This guy is more kind of like a set piece kind of specialist um, or crossing specialist, as you see there. He does have interception. I would definitely play him left mid. He's got good stamina, good pace, good speed, and good lofted pass. You can't add any additional skills to these guys that are kind of uh, one hand behind their back that way. The next six players that we have here, I would say Party is pretty decent as a DMF. He does win a lot of ball, even though he doesn't have blocker and he does have standard form. He's not bad. Uh, Romagnoli, a lot of people swear by this guy, but for me... There are better center backs there, especially, you know, destroyer center backs. This guy is an extra frontman, so I'd probably give him a miss as well. You've also got Bruno Gomez uh, from Newcastle. This guy has got some excellent player skills, unwavering form, brilliant passing and dribbling, um, and pretty decent speed as well for a DMF with good high aggression. He's definitely one of the picks of the pack. You've also got Gonzalez and Gallagher and Dumfries. Dumfries is pretty decent. I would definitely play him as that right midfielder role, kind of like Trent Alexander. He does have blocker as well as interception and fighting spirit with unwavering form. If you are playing a 3-5-2 and you want an industrious right back, somebody that gets up and down the pitch and just bombs up and down with a big engine on him, he is your man. And then you've got Gonzalez as a centre forward. Nothing to write home about, lads. Uh, something, he just doesn't do it for me. Obviously, he plays a goal poacher through a one-touch pass. First time shot in unwavering form. Not bad. But yeah, other than that, he's not great. And then we have Conor Gallagher here. Gallagher is a very average player, lads. If you look at his stats there, it doesn't uh, take a genius to see that he's an extremely average player. He does have one-touch pass, super sub and fighting spirit, which is brings him into a bench role. But other than that, I would probably skip out on him. So that leaves us with the last eight players. So Ben Yedder, you know what you're getting with him. He's an excellent finisher, 90 awareness, 84 acceleration, 86 balance, and 89 finishing, quite decent. You've also got Musiala. This guy, the German attacking midfielder, is a beast. Probably the player of the pack here, him and Foden. Excellent player skills, double touch, soul control, dip and shot, first time shot, one touch pass, gamesmanship, and of course standard form is a bit of a letdown. Bit of a letdown there, but other than that, he's a beast. Korea kind of sends in 
to that role as well as Musiala. So he's down as a whole player, which is always very, very good. He's also down as a double or as a super sub with double touch. And of course, he does have first time shot through passing, but no one touch pass. So if I'm playing him, I'm probably going to be playing him as an SS, which brings him in line with Musiala there as well as Mount. Mount can play AMF. He's a very good player. A lot of people play him CMF. I don't think he's defensive enough for CMF, even though if you're playing a really um, high offensive cmf you do need to be you do need to be kind of uh careful that you have a bit of cover at the back the abbey you know what you're getting with the abbey lads just pure blister and pace one of the best wingers in the game i would put him on par with dembele apart from his finishing i mean it's 74 um with the player form area you're going to get speed acceleration balance dribbling and the rest of his stats in the high 80s or the 90s so you know what you're getting with a good winger. He can play left and right. I always like players that can play left or right. Tamori, a big fan favourite at the start with his high aggression, high tackling, good speed and acceleration and height and weight. He doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have unwavering form. And he does have build up as his play style. So that's a little bit of a concern for me as well. And then last but not least, we have Foden and Saka. Both extremely similar players. Saka is actually one of the best left backs in the game. If you play him as a left wing back, He's got brilliant acceleration, dribbling, balance, stamina, speed, ball control, and lofted passing, as well as curl, and he's got really nice player skills as well. You've got uh, one-touch pass, low-lofted pass. He's also got track back. He's got unwavering form. He is a beast, man. I think Saka is one of the best young players in the game. Um, a lot of people don't use him, but he genuinely, every time I come up against him, he is an absolute monster, and he gives me a lot of pressure. And then Foden. Foden can play pretty much anywhere in the middle, he can play left or right wing and left mid as well. I love this version of Foden. I think the best version of him, I think, was the one I had. Um, this guy's down as a prolific winger. So I said there will be slight alterations to each card. This guy's got one touch pass and double touch with true pass and way to pass and low lofted pass. So he's got excellent passing ability, even though his stats aren't that high. But his speed, his dribbling, his balance and his finishing are all extremely good if you learn how to play with him. So for me, lads, with this Encore 1, we do have a, a different selection, which we'll get into as well, part 2, um, which I think is a little bit better. But I do think, yeah, if you are, you know, spinning, you get your free spin or whatever, and you get Foden, Saka, Diaby, I would probably throw in Musiala in there as well. I wouldn't clear this agent, lads. You can get a lot of these players in the GP market that are better. You can get a lot of better alternatives. But if you do have your heart set, you can clear the agent. So that's something to keep in mind that you're not taking any chance. I mean, if you open 22 pack uh, balls here or agents, you're going to get the 22 players here. So you can kind of have really a, a full team really for um, that would be able to compete. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.